Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokem here. Today we're going to be using Weatherball Articuno on a Sun Team. My boy Gene Zera passed me this squad. If you guys want to use it yourself, feel free to check out my website, PokeGameMD.com. The link is down below. And also, if you enjoy the video at any given point, feel free to subscribe, man. We got, uh, got a lot of cool things uh, happening on the channel. It looks like... Articuno looks really good here, okay? Weather Ball plus Freeze Dry puts in a ton of work versus my opponent. And uh, it can actually deal decently with their uh, with their Needle King, which is a giant threat to me. Uh, I also think that their, Artic uh, their, their Dragapult is a pretty big threat versus me as well. But I'd rather switch into Dragapult via something like Articuno than uh, switching to Needle King initially. So I like Victini early on. Troy's Band Victini puts in a ton of work. But uh, first a word from our sponsor well okay it's not really a sponsor but it's me but I, I had to do this for my you'll see exactly what I'm talking about I had to do it for a subathon <laughs> oh my god oh my god well now you know huh I guess the secret's out I'm sure you're wondering why I'm soaking in G Fuel well research shows that you'll buy a product if I do something stupid so if you use code AM you can get 30% off on G Fuel products but but if you are under 18, this is not for you. And if you don't like caffeine, you can try the hydration formula. Strawberry lemonade, it's my favorite. When I actually take a shower, sometimes this is how I end up when I'm so tired. My wife can tell you right now, she'll walk. She can wave the thing if she agrees. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. 30% uh, off ends today, by the way, if I'm not mistaken, so. I like Victini early, it says Needle King, stay the hell back. I, I, I figured Dragapult would be the lead, but I had to be a little bit uh, a little bit safer in my opinion. I could have gotten Landorus initially too, but I don't want them to be random Thunder Wave. I'm just going to bring out my Landorus here. They could Draco uh, immediately as well, as they do end up revealing the Thunder Wave. It's perfect for me. Uh, they may end up trying to U-turn, kick knock off on them. We get Mandibuzz, which is awesome, because if I get up Rocks, then they will be affected by it. So that's why I didn't want to go Articuno initially. And this does give me the, um, this does give me potentially sun. It does give me sun. I'm assuming they may knock off, but they should U-turn if they have it. I'll get up sun either way. I think I put in a ton of work with this. And this does allow a Needle King. Uh, but, especially if they have a fire move, it's annoying. But Latios is still a decent play regardless. I shouldn't die to Ice Beam. And, uh, again, Articuno is very, very, very strong here. Yeah, I don't doubt Ice Beam, which is nice. I will double out into Victini right here on what I'm expecting to be Magirna. And what I'll do here is I'll U-turn out on the slow row coming in. And from this position, I could easily bring out uh, Venusaur and put in a ton of work. But I'm going to bring out Freeze Dry Articuno. I'm going to bring out Freeze Dry Articuno. Just because maybe they think I'm a bulkier variant, so they may teleport. And either way, I can go for Weather Ball right after because I'm faster than Magirna. So let me go ahead and hit them up with this Weather Ball. Ooh, Magirna just straight up. Y'all, leave a like, guys. Leave a like for Articuno getting a kill immediately. This thing killed every member on their team. Y'all yeah, gotta leave a like for that, bro. You have to leave a like for Articuno, man. Put it in some work from the get. I don't know if Flamethrower Boosted by Sun knocks out my Articuno. I'll be honest. And I'm kind of tempted to find out. I've kind of tempted to find out. Let's see if they got, let's see, I think, let's put Fire Blast here, just a, just a note, you know. Oh, Fire Blast in the sun definitely knocked me out. Hmm. They can't knock out Victini, so I'm going to make the play. Oh, it was only Sludge Wave 2? Awesome. All right, so we have Choice Band Victini in the sun. We're going to go for, for at least one more turn. Now that I know that they can't touch um, my Articuno, I'm in a good spot. 55%, by the way. 55%. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. We can bring out Articuno here on Scald or whatever attack they want to go for. They have no freeze dry switchings as they teleport initially. And again, on max special attack, I'll be doing massive damage to everything. If they want to go Needle King, they could take this hit from me. Sludge Wave does 56. Let's see how much I do. That's modest. Unfortunately, I barely miss out on the KO right there. Just barely miss out on the KO. But what I can do is Sack Latios. Bring out Victini, go for U-turn, bring back out Articuno, 
and click the exact same button again on freeze dry. So if they stay in, they're dead. Uh, if they go out into Manda Buzz, I get a roost off with Arnakuno. If they go Buzzwool, I could bring out Torkoal. Honestly, I'm gonna go for rocks just because Buzzwool can't knock me out in one hit anyway. And then I'll just uh I think I'll yawn right after. Because if they go Mandibuzz and they defog, they'll be put to sleep. But if they U-turn out to anything, I'm, I'm in a decent spot, man. I really feel like... I really feel like Landorus on the U-turn is great. Because if they U-turn out, I can Stone Edge them and kill them. They end up defogging there. So that's cool because I can. they, they haven't Bird's Turn asleep. I can go for the U-turn now. As they go Buzzwool. Bring out Young Articuno and get a kill immediately with the Weather Ball. That's it. Give me a kill. Give me a kill right now. It's in. And if they go Mandibuzz, which hopefully doesn't die, I can roost in the following turn. It shouldn't die. It's a Mandibuzz. I can roost in the following turn for free. And uh, I, can, I can... Oh, this is awesome. And I can live every hit from every Pokemon on their team. So we can roost there because, like I said, they cannot die this turn. Oh, they can't wake up, rather. And now I can't die to any attack they go for. Throw off a freeze dry Articuno picking up the second K of the game. Hey, if you didn't leave a like the first time, you gotta leave a like the second time. Nido King comes out. Uh, at this point, Sludge Wave cannot kill me, so I'll just go for another freeze dry and pick up the biggest threat to my team. That's three kills for Articuno in the first game. That is three kills. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Draco's the only thing that can knock me out. Um. I'm going to sack Torkoal here. As they drop a Draco. Giving me the opportunity to bring back out my Articuno and just click the Freeze Dry again. If they're going to go for Thunder Wave, I'd rather potentially get rid of something. Oh, they go slow, bro. Hard. Uh, you already know I'm getting roost off on this bad boy. I don't even got to predict. There. There you go. Articuno is going to get every kill in the first game, guys. I'm 1700 on the ladder, by the way, so it's not like I'm even that low. Ooh, let me go and go for another freeze dry because I'll kill Slowbro and I'll two a KO whatever's coming in. If they try and go Dragapult and get cheeky. Not bad. 93%. Not even bad at all. Let me get this KO right here. Where I don't even know where they're going because they have no switch-ins. Articuno just put in a massive amount of work. This is max special attack, bro. Another weather ball for me. That is four kills for Articuno in the first game. Dragapult can't even kill me. It can't even kill me with Draco. And it missed. That's five kills. I got six kills with Articuno. That, that, if they went slow, bro, I would have died too. That's six kills, basically, with Articuno. Draco would not have knocked me out. I'm an Articuno. We saw how much a Life Orb Sheer Force. And like I said, I wasn't even that low. I'm mid to high ladder right here on this account. So, man, Articuno put in a massive amount of work in the first game. I am so happy about that, guys. I'm going to pause it until you find another game. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're back. I also forgot to say that I do have my merch available uh, down below, drop a Draco merch if you'd like to pick it up. Uh, feel free to. If you are ordering in the U.S. and you spend over fifty dollars, you can get uh, your free shipping if you use code free over fifty. But uh, another game, we got another one coming out, and uh, oof, Articuno looks pretty cool here. I'm gonna be honest. They do have Slow King though, so it's decent. Um, Victini looks amazing as well, and I love how great offensive Latios is this game. I mean, same thing, like, Venusaur also just wins. So there's a there's a good amount of auto wins in this game, in my opinion. Um, Landorus gives me the best lead versus Cinderace slash Garchomp, which defensively I don't deal with very well. So I want to start off with Lando as they end up leading off with Garchomp. I will definitely just go for an Earthquake here because this is the only thing stopping me from clicking Banded V Creates. I get a crit on Garchomp immediately as they go for Stealth Rock there. And um, obviously that's a pretty big turn. Um, Latios seems like a decent mid ground considering they should go Tornadoes here, but they may go Feral Thorn as well. Yeah, and we'll go for the Life Orb Draco Meteor. Hmm. If they just U turn, Roost is better, right? Because maybe Torm would come out. I guess Feral Thorn could also come out too. Feral Thorn could also come out here. Uh, they're Slow King. Um. I want to get up my rocks and then start pressuring them a little bit, but if I get a Draco off on this thing, that will help Bandit Victini for later to just click V-Create and get a kill. They Thunder Wave me there. 
not the end of the world. I'll, I'll go Landers because I don't want them to th double Thunder Wave and I can click Knock Off. As they teleport and like in this position, Landers is still like, it's still in a decent position regardless, I think. Uh, if Tornadus wants to come out, I'll probably knock off its heavy duty boots, which will help me out if I get up rocks. I, I think the one thing I don't like about this team is that it's very hard for me to um, to get rid of hazards. Like here I go Torkoal, right? As they go for knockoff, which is a smart play. I set up Stealth Rock myself. Well, just a pressure Garchomp, really. It doesn't really do too much as it does come out. And I can bring out my Landorus here and threaten something. I'm assuming... Yeah, because I could start spamming knockoff myself. So, I'll bring out Lando there. I can abuse my son as they opt to toxic me. Click knockoff here. Uh, they may just Dragon Tail immediately. But if they go torn, getting rid of its boots is good. Getting rid of this thing's Rocky Helmet is also really nice too. But this is a situation that I don't want to be in. Uh, they could Dragon Tail here. But this is a situation I don't want to stay in on them because... I'm very weak to Cinderace. Honestly, I just need a little bit of damage off on Ferrothorn. Yeah. I seriously just need a little bit of damage off on that Pokemon. They're just going to teleport here too. I wonder if they risk the Draco crit. They may go Clef. Smart. Victini can get kills when it comes out. Masai Shock. Oh my god, that Clef took way too much, bro. That Clef took way too much. So this means that Victini can get a kill. However, that's going to open up... Um, that's going to open up Cinderace to come in and get a kill right back. But I'm pretty sure Band of V-Create is my best play right now. It should kill anything. I did not expect 64%. If I would have known that it's 64%, I would have clicked it twice on Clefable coming in. Actually, if I had Mystical Fire, though, that was the play, too. I'm not in a terrible situation, though, because... All these guys can lose to Articuno in the sun. It's just Cinderace that's looking the worst right now. So they give me Clefable. I'm good with that. I guess they go Garchomp and pick up the KO. Which makes a lot of sense too. I gotta keep Torkoal plus Venusaur alive or at least Landers in the back for Cinderace. Though it's definitely a Sucker Punch, I'm assuming. They go Cinderace. They would have to hit Hurricane in the sun to knock out Torkoal, right? If I, if I spin on Garchomp, but then again, they're just going to get it up again. Huh. And me not having multiple turns. This, this is a tough game. This is tough because the, the Garchomp's Rocky Helmet plus Rocky... Well, them having Thunder Wave is too hurt me as well, but... I don't think I'm out yet because I still have an Articuno. When you have an Articuno, there's a way. You come out to maybe Thunder Wave my uh, Articuno, but I mean, it's slower than basically everything anyway, so I don't think that matters too much. Or to teleport out into Cinderace. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Ah, uh, tough turn, man. Okay. Give him you. Yawn randomly just in case they opt to miss here. Bring out Venusaur. I don't think they let me Earth Power them. I'm going to Growth, though. I, could, I, I would have won the game right there if I Earth Power. So what my thought process was they wouldn't let me Life Orb Earth Power them because it would kill Cinderace. Uh, and then I could have won the game with Victini plus Articuno. So that was my bad right there. That's 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 a wrap. Because they just sat Garchomp and then got into anything to revenge kill me. That was a good game. Ah, I got crushed in this in this second one. I'm, I'm really surprised. Let me see how much my Venusaur would have done. This definitely kills Cinderace, right? Oh, 97 to 115. It's so another roll, but it was uh, severely in my favor. So Nurse comes out. All he has to do is click Sucker Punch. Yeah, good game, dude. So, got bopped in that second game, but we still had an amazing first game there. Uh, had I Earth Power, definitely had a, a better chance because of my one mod that could do it. But this will be interesting because, I mean, Articuno is still really decent in this, but it needs Sun Up. Hmm. I love Latios in this, and I, I'm a big fan of Victini, regardless of them having double ground, Como, all of this. I still like Victini just because it can keep up uh, some crazy uh, momentum versus them. Uh, Venusaur also is decent besides Corviknight. Freaking Magirna is annoying. 
Early Lando lets me deal with the steel types that are annoying. Exactly. I don't know if they go hardcore overnight, but I'm just going to click Earthquake there. And uh, this allows me to get up to Sun at least. So that's going to help on my Venusaur. Magina looks like it'd be Specs and it'd either try and Flurk Enemy or Volt Switch immediately. Or just try and set up on me. I'll go Lando, I'll risk it right here because if there's Specs, they may just Volt Switch. Exactly. I'm going to Earthquake again. Yep. I figure there's Specs, Volt Switch. And uh, we'll make the Victini play here. Uh, they could try and Volt Switch again if they wanted that turn, but I figure Corviknight would try and rear its ugly head. And we'll go for the Banded V Create in the sun. Pex is going to be 2 KO'd for sure. Yep. 69. Don't show me Rocky Helmet. Nice. Ooh, Como coming out. About to take a lot of damage from this too. Thank you. That's good for Venusaur. That's really good for Venusaur. Um, Articuno is almost in position to do its damage. But I think I go Latios here. On the Stealth Rock. And uh, I believe I just drop a Draco. If they go Magirna, I can click. Yeah, because they might have expected me to defog. So they give me Como. I don't think anything can set up in front of Ladio, so I'm glad they gave me Como there. I can wrap its spin later. Rhyperior comes out, which could be banded Stone Edge. That makes the most sense, but a Lander's Get Off Intimidate helps me out a lot too. I'm assuming this is banded, right? As they go Corviknight. I don't care if they U-turn themselves. I like going Articuno, because I can... Uh, they might expect me to be slower than... Uh, they might expect Magirna to be faster than me, so I can kill it or freeze dry. Are you Stone Edge? Dude, like, or is this just a bluff? Because I can kill you. <laughs> I'll switch, just for now, but that's a big bluff. Okay. Oh, that Life Orb Stone Edge, too. Holy crap. Yeah, that mod is too much of a threat for me to mess around with. So we know their life orb. Uh, Garchomp is a threat. We know that much. I have to be careful about getting this thing in. Corviknight's annoying, despite me having Sun. I don't want to go uh, Torkoal on this, because I want to be able to spin. I think I always go Articuno, and I force Stone Edges. Yeah, I still like Landorus, even if I have to sack it. Because this let me go Latios. Uh, it allows me a kill with Latios. Uh, we're just going to click Psy Shock here as they go Corvi. I can roost in front of this thing. It's not like it's going to do too much damage to me. Yeah, that's not much. I can roost. I'm assuming they're not going to let me Psy Shock them. They're going to double out, out into Corviknight. So I'm going to go Torkoal just to wrap it. spin away these Stealth Rock. Yep. That's a nice little rapid spin there, so we don't have to worry about rocks anymore. Of course, this does give them Rhyperior to click Stone Edge. Oh, it's, uh... Well, it's still a giant threat, regardless of what it is. Hmm. Rocks kill Magirna. Stone Edge definitely coming out here. Latios is this non-sackable one. I think I go, I, I go Venusaur and eat the hit. Yo, shout out to the homie. That's all I needed. All I needed was for you to do this for me. Thank you. A few outplays there. That's all we need. I don't think they're going to let me weather ball them. I'm about to Earth Power and the Toxic Effects coming in just to make sure that they don't have that sack for later. Yup. Just to make sure they don't have that sack for later. And we'll just go right for the Giga Drain here. So I got rid of the three sacks, which means when I click Freeze Drain now, I get guaranteed a hit off on something. Garchomp comes out. If there's Scale Shot, I lose. But there's not much I could do about that. Luckily, they just opt to Stone Edge there. Bring a Latios here. I think double back out in the Torkoal one more time on uh, potentially Corviknight. Yeah. And this time I pressure something with a Lava Plume. Uh, potentially getting a burn on Rhyperior or Garchomp. There you go. 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I like the idea of just clicking uh, Stealth Rock here because it at least forces Corviknight to defog, which gives me uh, Torkoal one more time. And I think that Latios is the expendable one. Well, kind of expendable, but let's see if they give me this. Nice. So we get rid of you. I have V Creates now to do damage, so that's awesome. Drop a Draco regardless if they go Corviknight. They can Roost here if they want to. I still have a Banded V Create in the Sun. They give me one Banded V Create in the Sun. Thank you very much. Yo, I did. <laughs> yeah, that 2 KO. Let's give me this bot. <laughs> And then, uh, GG. Unfortunately, I didn't really get to use Articuno there, but I, I used the fact that my opponent was a good player to my advantage. Uh, they expected me to be Weather Ball on, on Venusaur, so they tried to outplay it, and I went right for Earth Power into the uh, Toxpex. So that worked out for me. So uh, a loss into a win. Let's pause it. We'll be right back. So we have uh, Gen 6 OU with Aegislash. Um, I have no Shadow Ball switchings on my team, so that's good. Have fun. I have absolutely no Shadow Ball switchings on my team. Uh, v creates really good here because there's no pursuit in the game. Articuno's decent. I love offensive Latios, but again, H slash destroys me. Yeah, H slash absolutely destroys me. So I got to be careful around that. Yeah, it just goes crazy. I mean, Venusaur also goes crazy in this game, but they have a Tyranitar, so I want to be aware of that Pokemon. Landorus is the only mod that doesn't give me a bad lead versus Landorus and Age slash of their own. And I would much rather. Thank you, bro. I would much rather potentially win a speed tie here and get rid of their choice scarf and uh, put me in a, a, a situation where Victini's faster naturally, right? Why do I always get disconnected at these points? Reconnect. Maybe Showdown is, uh, maybe Showdown is lagging. Oh, okay, I knocked off their Rocky Helmet. Awesome. So we'll go Articuno here. As they go for the knockoff. And what I'm going to do is go for U-turn as Tyranitar comes out. And this is great because I can, uh, again, I can be a little bit aggressive here. So I I want to use this to my advantage here. They should expect like a, a Brick Breaker or something because I brought out Victini. I'm going to U-turn again uh, just to keep wearing down their landers to the point where I can click V-Create. But if they do stay in, I'm putting myself in a position to, uh, to deal with their defensive rock type. So like I get like 40% off. Yeah, they do go landers. Nice. Nice. I'm trying to keep them in this. Uh... Do I weather ball rock? Left for each guy here. As they go clef, get a little bit of chip. Not too bad for me. I do want rocks up of my own if I can help it. So we'll make the Torkoal play, because uh, especially because Landorus is going to be worn down. Uh, if they teleport out into Keldeo, then uh, Articuno and Latios both eat from the position we're in. Oh, this thing is annoying, man. I'm stuck clicking rocks in front of this thing. Yeah, if we're both going to click rocks, so be it. If I can spin into Lando, that also helps. They may Ice Beam, actually. Ice Beam makes sense. It sucks that this is a rocker, not Lander's. I don't care if they ice beam. I gotta go Lando. Yeah, Torkoal being the... Uh, I think Lando should have defog. <laughs> they rock blast. That's fine. I don't think they risk this Pokemon here because Earthquake, if I can win the Weather Boar by clicking that. So if they do have to stay in, that's okay too. But I'd much rather bring out like my Venusaur here And go for growth in the uh, go for growth in the sand, so I can threaten something. And now I have Sludge Bomb because if they go Age Slash, I can Earth Power after, so I don't have to predict. But Sludge Bomb hits something. Ooh, good scout on my opponent's part. Very good scout. Uh, if they're offensive, maybe I go to knock them out. I'll get in this situation again though. Hopefully, oh, they have rocks up though. I can't even use that mon to my advantage. That really hurts, um, especially with Lando being at the rage is at. Yeah, this, I think that's the biggest weakness with this team. The, uh, the rocker. Like, the spinner, excuse me. I think what I'll do is I'll put Defog on Articuno over U-Turn. 
because that would have at least helped me. And I don't mind Landers coming in and taking a million damage. Oof, Landers just dies. That's awesome. So I'm still okay. Uh, Age Slash is a giant threat. Venusaur is a giant threat to them too, though. And I gotta be careful around Tyranitar. I'm happy about that first game, because I mean, I, I didn't know how much... Uh, oh, imagine I Sludge Bomb there. That would've been fire. They probably have like Air Slash on Caldeo too, so or something crazy like that. But... I guess they're banded or like they're mixed shadow sneak into shadow ball and age slash i lose them on no matter what i was pursuit was still a thing <laughs> are they knock are you really gonna risk a hurricane here i think i risked this because venus can 1v1 their team outside of it yeah that was a little bit of a misplay i think they should have went tyranitar first because what the hell uh, i know what the intimidate that's crazy, bro. Yo, that's insane. Is that a guaranteed not kill? At minus one. What's the what's the roll on that? I gotta know. Obviously, Bandit is an Oko. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna risk it here and just go for a horse fear. So if if I yeah I have to I have to risk them hitting or missing rather because if I go Torkoal it's a wrap anyway. Bro, do you have HP? <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know on this thing. Holy crap, bro! That's an 87 percent uh, 87 percent chance to kill. On this torn? Holy crap. He probably copped that though. He had to. He had to have copped it. No, I, I think I just got the absolute lowest roll. I think that's it. I can't I can't win uh well if torn if torn died there, I won the game with Venusaur. But I don't think he has any HP. I growth here for sure and play off the missing attacks and stuff. H HP investment is what I meant. Yeah, I think I just got the absolute lowest roll possible. <laughs> That's very sad, man. Uh, technically, Venusaur, like I said, can still win. Even paralyzed, I think Venusaur could. Uh, ne never mind. Age Slash will just kill me. One v one. Yeah, good game. Good game, man. Yeah, so I think they misplayed by going Torn, uh, because even if they had like HP, all they had to do was go Tyranitar that turn and get a kill with Crunch. But it worked out for them because I got the ninety-eight instead of any of the hundred plus, <laughs> uh, and then I ended up getting smoked by Nasty Plot Torn. Ooh, this is that rain team that's running around. Wow, I love Articuno in this. Pretty cool. Uh, Pelipper's... Freaking Victini destroys my opponent. I'm also rocked by Bandit Crawdon, but Victini destroys my opponent. So I don't have a, I don't have a too bad of a matchup, I would say. Smart. I think I always go Lando here. Torkoal's too good to risk. Can't risk them knocking off. I'd rather like take that million damage. Articuno should be able to get a hit. As the Aqua did again. You bring out Victini here. Yep. Go ahead and click V create on the Victini. Awesome. Okay, so now I just click freeze dry and weather ball and everything. So I'm glad I didn't predict there. Didn't really feel a reason to. Uh, they could obviously go crawl on though and get their kill, but I'll always go right back out on the landers. Because I'm the baby. I'm, maybe I won't go landers. Maybe I'll just 100% depend on. No, 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 no. I got, I got enough for sun. I think I always go Lando here. As they go for knockoff. Okay. 
Not too bad. I, why did I make this play? I, why did I just go hard Victini? What's wrong with me? Now I'm risking Victini for no reason. That was a really bad play on my part. If they stay in a knockoff, I'm, I'm terrible. But I'm glad that worked out. But that was a really bad play on my part. I'm going to bolt strike here in the Pelipper, and then I'm going to win the Weather War. <laughs> Again, that was a still a very bad play on my part. I should not have made that play. And I'm very sad that I made that play. But Torkoal getting up to Sun means that Venusaur destroys them. Ooh, let me go ahead and Weather Ball immediately into Magirna too. Yeah, just that. This is a game of one-for-ones, bros. <laughs> this is a game of one-for-ones. That's one. Go ahead and give me that. That's another one for my boy. The homie. Ooh, shoot. This specs, huh? Does that just kill naturally? I can Aura Sphere. Uh, they have to hit a Hurricane in the Sun, which they didn't. I land my Draco. Hurricane wouldn't have killed me, and Venusaur wins with Giga Drain into Earth Power on basically everything, so it doesn't make a difference, I think. I just Aura Sphere them for a little bit of damage. Go Victini, click U-Turn. Win the game with Venusaur clicking Earth Power. It was a nice little one-for-one -one game here. And Big uh, big Articuno. Big Articuno was alright. Big Articuno was alright. So, what we learned, uh, overall, team is uh, ex as expected. Like, it's not the strongest, but I wanted to use something fun in OU and see how it did. Uh, I do think that the team needs a little bit of work because the hazard control cannot be Torkoal. I don't even know if Defog on Articuno is the strongest way. Probably isn't, but in those games that I played, uh, having to get rid of rocks that when I have like, I have, you know, three defoggers on this team, right? Latios, Landers, and Articuno. I feel like maybe fitting it on Landers would have been okay too. Well, maybe Articuno just because he gets free turns. But who cares, man? That first game was wild. I, I, I said it too. I could lose, maybe I didn't say it, but I said it in my head. I could lose every game from here on out. Damn weather ball Articuno put in some work and got basically every single kill. And we could have won that game versus the Tornadoes player too uh, had I not gotten that role. <laughs> But uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.